FEMA death camps and the red and blue list under martial law. While I have no doubt that the NWO cravers at the CIA have their own list of people to round up and terminate, the actual proper agency behind the now infamous Red Blue List is none other than FEMA Black OPS. FEMA is not here to primarily help you. Under a full state of martial law, FEMA is here to send you to their detention camps to sort out who shall live and who shall die. Those unfortunates whose names are found among the millions of fellow Americans on FEMA Red Blue Lists will never come out of the FEMA camps alive, although they may have to go through hell before they are finally terminated. Such offenders are essentially deemed resistors of the New World Order, as my CIA and military insiders told me personally. Oh, all of us in the CIA know all about the concentration camps in America and their purpose. We all know that their purpose is to terminate resistors of the New World Order under martial law. Source Michael Maholi, 20 years Naval Intelligence CIA under Bush Sr. For example, the FEMA death camp of the Mojave is a full gas and cremating death camp, dedicated to the termination of all on FEMA's red blue list under martial law. I have previously documented this horrific death camp and documented the eyewitness accounts of several former NWO supporters who were flown out there. My friends, Doc Marquis, Illuminati and Elaine Nost, CIA Lucifer Ian, formerly high-level Illuminati Lucifer Ians, but now are supposed Christians for many years, were both flown separately to this facility in the Mojave Desert of California. It boasts a landing strip. According to another contact, a D agent who personally investigated this FEMA facility, it was recently doubled in size to increase killing capacity. It is fully staffed. All staff members wear black SWAT team uniforms. When I asked Doc Marquis what his sentiments were, back when he was a member of the Illuminati and given a tour of this killing facility, his reply was, sheer joy. I rejoiced at the thought of Christians being terminated in this place. A chilling response but typical of this nation's Satanists and NWO supporters. The FEMA death camp was shown off as something the NWO and FEMA was literally proud of. And there are many more FEMA detention camps whose ultimate purpose under martial law is not to save life, but to terminate human lives deemed unworthy of entering into the dawning of Lucifer's new world order. Know the cold hard facts about FEMA and then think twice before going meekly to such camps under a state of martial law in your region. We are all on a red or blue list somewhere, those on the red list will be walk on at 4 a.m. and taken to the camps and probably killed. Red list, these people are the enemies of the NWO. They are the leaders of patriot groups, outspoken ministers, outspoken talk show hosts, community leaders, and even probably net leaders. These people will be dragged out of their homes at 4 a.m. and will be taken to FEMA detention centers and killed. This will take place approximately two weeks before martial law is enforced. Blue List, these are also enemies of the NWO, but are followers of the Red List folks. These people will be rounded up after martial law is in place and will be taken to the detention centers and re-educated. Various mind control techniques will be used on them. Most will not survive this. Mr. Springmeyer was not specific on exactly who was on the blue list, but I would guess that people such as you and I are on that list. Yellow list, these are citizens who know nothing about the NWO, which is the New World Order, and don't want to know. They are considered to be no threat at all and will be instructed as to how to behave and will most likely do whatever they are told. Unfortunately there are too many of these to be effectively controlled, so many will be killed or starved. By the way, once you're in the FEMA camp they will start chipping the people with the satanic RFID chip 666. All this and much more is prophesied in the book of Revelation. Start opening your Bibles again and learn from God himself how he wants us to walk according to his word. The time is now. This may be your last chance 